This video is going to look at how to create text columns and flow blocks of text in InDesign. So first we're going to be working with this text down here and I'm going to access it using my type tool. I know I've done that when I have my blinking cursor there. And so one of the basic ways you can create columns of text is using your paragraph formatting. And I've just pulled my control bar down here so we have it kind of close to the block of text we're working with. In my paragraph formatting, I'm going to go over here to this icon, which indicates number of columns. And I'm going to change that to, let's change this to six. So you can see now we've spanned our text into six columns, which looks nice. It breaks evenly here in the gutter in the middle of the page. Um, we could also adjust our space between columns if that was something that our style guide indicated, uh, making those smaller or larger, just depending on our style guide. Playing with the gutter between the columns can be an interesting thing to design with. Um, default is one pica. That's a good general look for text. The second way you can work with text, and I'm going to take our column back to one, is to manually do it using your column guides for the document. Now for this document we've actually have not set up column guides, so if we wanted to do that at this point, we go out to layout, margins and columns, and then we're going to set our number of columns at three. It's important to note that this number is per page. So I want three per page and hit OK. And you can see now I have column. And we'll zoom back in now that we've got that. And so I can use my column guides, you can see those in there, to flow my text. So I click my red plus mark and I can either click down or I can click and draw, which draws it specifically where you want it. Notice that I can use those green smart guides to make sure that I'm getting it even with the other columns along the top and the bottom. And so that's the other way that I can use column guides. So you kind of have that manual option and then the program does it for you. So that is how you create column guides.